is my screen is uh, visible to everyone yeah 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 madam yes okay sir good morning everyone myself livia today i am going to explain regarding about a uh, enterprise structure enterprise structure is nothing but an organizational structure in every company we will have a um, basic enterprise structure for that we will have a nine configuration here first one is define company second one is create a company code next assign company code to company fourth configuration is define company business area next consolidation business area creation assign business area to consolidation business area define business functional area define credit control area assignment of con uh, company code to credit control area here i have uh, taken an example of a tata group here a tata group is nothing but a group of company uh, for this uh, group of companies we will have uh, different divisions so uh, these divisions are called uh, company codes a company can have n number of uh, company codes in it so here it tata steel is nothing but a company code in tata steel company code there will be different business areas according to their geographical uh, regions here we will be having tata steel hyderabad tata steel uh, rajamandri tata steel tirupati all these are nothing but business areas likewise we have a uh, business areas under tel uh, tata telecom also and also tata motors also will be having different different business areas uh, for tata group uh, all these three are the company codes we have to link between these company codes and a tata group so a company code can have only one company one group of company but a group of company can have n number of company code this is the main difference between a company and a company code next after login into sap server we will be getting this screen this screen is nothing but sap easy access screen here we will be having these options these are called a, this is called menu bar here what we are seeing this is called menu bar and uh, these options we are seeing here is called a, it is standard toolbar here uh, it is called a commanding field here we will be assigning we will be giving t codes here only for doing configurations and this is sap easy access now let's start with our configuration our first configuration is nothing but define company first we have to define a group of company for that t code will be ox15 we will be having different different group of companies like adani group reliance group tata group so for defining a group of company t code will be ox15 we have to give ox15 in commanding field then we have to press enter next we will be uh, clicking on a new entries because we have to create a group of company so we have to click on new entry then the screen will be visible like this we have to fill all the details like a group of company i have defined my group of company and also company name uh, these are the basic details we have to fill here but here in country language key currency there will be a drop down here so here i have selected my country as india language key as english currency as inr so here i have taken an indian company so after filling all these details we have to click on save button after see, uh, clicking on save here we will getting a prompt request like this so here we have to create our own request so you have to click on uh, this icon 
for creating a transport request. So this is nothing but a transport request. This pop-up will show. And here in short description, we have to enter creation of uh, BNGP group of companies and we have to click on save icon. After that, all the details what we have given was saved like this. And here one message will be shown in the screen like data was saved. So it is a confirmation that what we have given all the details were saved in SAP server. So after creating group of company, we have to create our company code. Company code is nothing but a smallest organizational unit in a group of company. So here uh, we have to uh, define our company code by using four digit code. Here I've taken uh, alphabet, alphabetical letters, but in real time we will be using numerics only. But as far as our explanation, I have taken here alphabetical uh, letters. So for uh, creating a company code, T code will be OX02. First we will be giving OX02 in commanding field. Then we have to click on enter. After that, the screen will be visible like this. We have to fill our details like a company code and a company name. Here I have given my company name as Ben Franklin Constructions. And here I have mentioned city, country and the currency. The currency which we are specified here at the time of creation of company code is nothing but a currency uh, specified at the time of uh, creating a company. This is nothing but company code currency. After that, we will be filling all the details like uh, address of a company. Here we have to select a title as company. Next here we have to uh, type Ben Franklin Constructions and a street number street name, postal code, country, time zone, region. So here we have to select a language also later. We have to click on tick mark. It is nothing but continue or uh, we can click on enter also. Then we have to click on a save button. Then the data will be saved like uh, our company code is created here. First of all, we have created our company and also next we have created our company code. Uh, we should uh, we should link between our company code and a company. So the linking between a company code to company is a nothing but assigning company code to company. So our third configuration is nothing but assigning company code to company. So here for assigning company code to company, T code is OX16. Uh, in commanding field, we have to give OX16. And uh, we have to click on position button. Here we will be entering our company code, then uh, screen will be like this. Like here, our company code is there, city is also there, but company is not there. We have not yet assigned a company. So for assigning a company here, we have to click on drop down button. This is nothing but drop down button. Here, uh, after clicking on drop down button, uh, this uh, screen will appear like this. Here we have to select our group of company. My group of company is nothing but a Ben Franklin group of companies. After clicking on this, you have to click on this tick mark, which is uh, there here in green color. So we have to create transport request uh, for assigning company code to company. Transport request is nothing but a vehicle. What we are uh, uh, giving the data we, which we are uh, saving here, it will be saved and a transport request uh, should be uh, created to every, every configuration in 
enterprise structure. So here we have to click on save button. Next, the data will be saved here. And you can see that our company code is there here. Company is also assigned. Now company code, uh, company is also assigned here. It means it is a group of company which is assigned. Now we have to create our business area. Business area is nothing but the branch. We can say as branch also. Here it can be classified as per geographical wise and product wise as per requirements of the company. For creating business areas, uh, T code is OX03. We have to give OX03 and click on new entries. For uh, we have we are creating business areas, new business areas, so that we are clicking on new entries. So after clicking on new entries, I have created my business areas, four business areas like uh, Ben Franklin Business Area, Hyderabad, Vijaywada, Vizag, and Guntur. After creating all that, I clicked on save button and the data was saved. Here you can see the data was saved. All these are our four business areas which we have created. Next, we have to consolidate all the business areas which we are created there. So, uh, OCC1 is the T code for consolidation business areas. Then you have to click on enter. Here uh, we are creating new bin consolidation business area. So we have to click on new entries. After that, we have to give our consolidation business area. I have given my consolidation business area as BEBA. And a description also we have to enter as consolidation business area. And uh, our company code also should be there here. And we have to save this. We have created our business area and also consolidation business area. Now we have to assign our business areas to the consolidation business area. For that OVB6 is the T code. So already we have created business area and also consolidation business area. So now we have to click on position button because uh, what we are created uh, will be there in position only. So uh, click on position and uh, we have to give our uh, company code first two letters then our business areas will be visible like this here but in consolidation business area there is blank there is nothing assigned to this business areas so we have to assign our consolidation business areas here here you will be finding a drop down from the drop down you have select our consolidation business area that is nothing but BEBA. Here you have to select uh, for all these four business areas. Consolidation business area should be selected. Hmm. After selecting that you have to click on save button. Here description will be auto populated. Our uh, uh, consolidation business area description will be auto populated here. So after creating that, uh, we have to give transport request and uh, you have to click on save button. Next, we have to define our business area, business functional area. Functional area is nothing but uh, it's like a department. Uh, it classifies the expenses of an organization by functioning as a sales, marketing, production and HR, etc. So, here in functional area, T code will be FM underscore function. After entering that, we will be finding a screen like this. Here we have to uh, give our functional area. This is a unique code we have to enter. After entering this, we have to click on this symbol. Uh, now all these uh, options will be highlighted. So. Here I have taken my functional area text as manufacturing group. So it, uh, the validity period will uh, we will enter the validity period from this date to this date. 
uh, it will expire on a 27th. For example, we have created today this uh, functional area. It will be valid from here to till one year from here. So after that one year, this will be lapsed. After entering all these details, we have to click on save button. After clicking on save button here, date and time and username also, it is auto populated here. Next, our uh, eighth configuration is nothing but credit control area. For credit control area, OB45 is the T code. Credit control area is an organizational unit for specifying and uh, controlling customer credit limits. For example, for some customers, we will be giving uh, credit limits like, uh, for example, uh, there will be a credit limit for 5 lakhs only. So exceeding that, we cannot give any credit limit. For uh, specifying that, we will be taking uh, credit limit for customers. Here I have defined a credit limit, uh, credit control area as a BECC and uh, I have taken a currency as INR. Here a credit limit we can take up to 10 nines. We have to create our transport request and uh, it should be saved and the data will be saved like this. So after creation of a credit control area, we have to assign it to the company code. So for assigning it, OB38 is a T code. So after clicking on OB38, you have to go to position, give our company code. Here we have to give our company code and click on tick mark. Then he can, here we can see that it is our company code BENC, company name CT. Here CCAR means a credit control area is not defined here. So from the drop down, we have to define our credit control area, which we are created. Then we have to create our transport request and we have to save it. Here you can see that our company code uh, against credit control area is defined, assigned. Here for our company code, credit control area is assigned successfully. So the data also saved. That's it, sir. Thank you.